What's going on, family and friends? It's your big homie, T.C. Caldwell, the beast from the East, hanging out right here on Hip Hop Boulevard. And we are in another episode of Inside the Music, the truth about the truth. And I'm here with my kings on the strip, West Coast, Las Vegas, Nevada, KC Cousin and Don D.C. DeCosta. And once again, y'all, we bringing you another Philly's finest episode of Inside the Music. This week, we have from the incomparable Harold Melvin's Blue Notes, the king himself, Tony Brooks. Thank y'all for joining us for another episode right here Inside the Music on MoveMRadio.com. Let's go. TC for that bring in, man. Hey, uh, we got an old friend back with us, was just with us a couple weeks ago, Cliff Perkins. And then we got this cat down. What happened to Cliff? <laughs> then we got this cat down here with all this blue and gray on. Hey, 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 hey. Don, give us an introduction. Well, it, it, man needs no introduction. Man on the bottom with all the blue and the gray and looking so dapper and everything, is, is the Mr. Tony Brooks. Mm. And he's going to speak to us in reference to the Blue Notes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to so say. let's welcome Tony and yes. uh, his partner in, in crime back up there, uh, Mr. <laughs> Cliff Perkins from Soul Generation, uh, yes, right. is going to monitor Whatever Tony says, obviously. <laughs> hey, he's an so, undercover brother. That's <laughs> okay. He's an undercover brother. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Hey. we got it. So, yeah, that's the uh, man. Man, to start the show off, let's go right to Mister Tony Brooks and say, Tony, how did you get into this business? Um, God, you got about how long is your show? <laughs> I started. Um, I met Harold Melvin in, in a nightclub in Washington, D.C. in the 80s. It was 1985, 86. And um, I was opening act locally. And he liked what we did. And, uh, a couple of years later, he took us out and um, we, we were opening acts for the Blue Notes when he brought Teddy in. Because he had a guy named Joe Brody singing lead and Teddy was playing drums. So he put Teddy up front. Uh, he liked the sound. And he went on the road with it. And then Miss You came out and, uh, you know, they were working. So he just said, hey, why don't y'all travel with us and I can, you know, I can show you the ropes of being on the road. So um, he took us on the road. The first job I did with the Blue Notes as the Wonders Four from Washington, D.C. was Carnegie Hall. And um, it just snowballed. We just kept working. Um, then we gradually went into another phase. And Harold had an illness. And um, he passed away. And Miss Melvin called me up and asked me would I take his, his spot. And... Um, I did that for 20 years. And um, I had some really wow. nice brothers working with me. Um, Rufus Thorne. Oh, oh God. I had um, Anna Gillespie. And um, Joe. Let's see, well, I had a couple other guys, but yeah. Well, we, um, we, we worked it out. And it worked. Well, let and me ask you this. Did yeah, you know my page little, in. Did you know my little brother? What's your little brother? Gil Saunders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Yes. Small now, world. Let, let me put it to you this way. We were 
actual blood brothers, but right. Gil, Gil and I knew each other so long, you know, uh, and in fact, to tell you the truth, before he got sick and passed away, uh, Gil and I had been talking and I was trying to get Gil to come back and go back to recording. Uh, right. And I didn't want to pressure him. So I kind of left him alone for a while. He said, give me some time to think about it, which I did. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I said, well, gee, let me call my little brother and see what's up and couldn't get him on the phone. Wow. So I didn't know what the devil was going on. And I put up, Gil, haven't been able to get a hold of you. When you get a chance, give me a call. I put it up on Facebook. Okay. And then a lady by the name of Tina Wu. Mm. Tina came and sent me a message and said, uh, your little brother Gil is not going to be able to contact you. And I was like, well, why not? What's up with that? And she said, you don't know. And I said, no, what? And she said, Gil is in a hospice. Mm -hmm. And then it was maybe about a week or two after that, that he passed away. Oh, mm. that's tragic. But we had um, some, some tragedies as it developed. I'm sure. You know, yeah. And what happens is when, Trepidation comes in, a lot of folks, you know, they, they just want to get out of it and go somewhere else. And um, we did. We came back and, you know, Miss Melvin brought me back and then, and um, we created something new and it worked. And yeah, so these guys are special. <laughs> they, they were old, they're old school talented and they work well together. And um, we're going to make some waves. We'll make some waves. Well, and, you'll um, definitely I'm do proud that. Of them. You'll definitely do that because uh, the world opening up is back yeah. ready for that kind of music and that kind of love uh, right. that originally was what was happening when you guys were much younger. Okay. <laughs> now that I like that guys, word. <laughs> there you go. And now that you guys are classics. Okay, <laughs> uh, now it's time to bring all of that back and introduce the new generations that yes. do nothing about you guys and that kind of music. That was the music that had roots. It had substance to it. Uh, and, and now it's time for it to come back. And, and what I, 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 I like the way you put that because I felt that same way as far as bringing new guys in. And I want to, I didn't want them to be my age. <laughs> I wanted them to be younger because they were the ones that can take this on further. And it's really working out. It's really working out. Been blessed with some really productive young men. And um, the reason is because they, they, they understand the music. They know how to put it, you know, how to play it. I like that. And, you know, they listen to me most of the time. I try not to be a dictator. But, uh, you know, we, we, we come up with some great ideas. I like to hear what they have to say. And it's working. Same way Harold toward me. He said, you don't know everything. Everybody can come with something to the table. And that's what they bought. And it's working. So we're blessed. What happens is, uh, like I said, the baptism of fire, if, if you're going to be in this business, you got to be in front of an audience and they'll tell you how good you are. So I took him on a cruise with Carnival. And um, they had um, an auditorium where we did a live show, but um, they did well. They did well. But that was from the rehearsals that we had before we left. Who were some of the members? Who were the members, who were the members in, of the group at that time? Um... Teddy Maduro used to be a group called The Choice Four. Um, I had him singing second tenor. Another gentleman named Gerald Brown. His name is Yaya, we call him. First tenor, great voice. In fact, he's sitting right next to me right now. <laughs> but he's got a great voice. Was that whose hands kept coming in and trying to fix your... Your uh, wife, yeah, he's, he's, he's fixing me up. That's right. 
Oh, okay, and, okay, um, okay. And and DJ Fresh, Steve sings the Teddy thing, and he 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 covers the stage. Really, really a great entertainer. And I uh, put them all together, and um, we went out on we went for carnival, and we did the show, and um, I'm proud of them. And I got more work. How did they feel about doing uh, a live uh, show on the ship? Um, besides the swaying of the boat, other than that, they did well. <laughs> Nobody fell down. <laughs> so yeah, it was it, it worked out really well. Uh, the thirty minute show, they did well. They did everything we rehearsed. So I was proud of them. Just I ain't telling them that. I'm telling them now. I'm proud of. Them. <laughs> That's all right. They'll see it when they see your interview. There you go. <laughs> I'm proud of. Them. How many but, shows uh, a night did you guys do? We only did one. That's why you had to get it or, or quit it. You had no two or three shows to practice with. You had to do this one, and she brought it back next year. No, oh, so hit it, hit it, and quit it. That's right. And if you don't do it right, they don't want you back. That's it. That's it. Yeah, so we, we're going back next year, do what we got to do. But it's, like I said, I needed that to find out what kind of guys I had. Well, you had good guys because uh, you only did one show a night. Right. And you know what they say. Uh, your first impression is everything. Yeah. You don't, get to, you don't get to make a first impression twice. Nope. So nope. If, you got, if you got asked back, your first impression was a good one. That's exactly right. And that's exactly why I said I'll take the cruise. And when they got on the boat, it was like, oh, my God. We're going to do a show in this boat. I said, yeah. yeah. On the 10th floor <laughs> of a cruise ship. 10th floor on a cruise ship? <laughs> yeah. How many and floors are on this boat? 14. Wow. No, I'm sorry, 16. Mm -hmm. And the middle of it was like Central Park. <laughs> you had a garden, trees, everything. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, here's the deal. I yes, understand sir. you guys have some concerts coming up. I like as, as coming out. <laughs> I, I heard you guys are going to be doing some uh, concerts. Yeah, I, I I try not to talk about predictions. I try to talk about fact, and you're right. I, I, that's a fact. But what I what I like to like to like to the to, to, to bring to you is the fact that these guys are new. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on them mentally. I want them to have fun. I want them to grooming. have fun. You, you grooming. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. And, and and fall into it naturally. Passing the torch. Yes, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. There's a, there's a proper way to go about doing it. There's a proper way to do it and a, a wrong way to do it. You know. And uh, you're right. It's, it's baptism several ways by fire. You know, yeah. baptism by fire sometimes leaves an ugly scar. <laughs> <laughs> And sometimes it leaves you understanding what pressure is all about. Right, right. It teaches you not to stick your hand in the fire unless you got a glove on or you're ready. How about that one? <laughs> that's exactly right. And that's what we had. So, uh, Tony. Yes, sir. Musically speaking, uh, what's the last thing you did? Oh, as a, as a, as a lifestyle? Musically, no, as a, as a release. Last song, I didn't have any new releases. We only did all Blue Note stuff. Okay, okay. But we're working on we're working on some things now. Funny you should ask. Yeah, we're working on some new things now. Okay. But, yeah. um, no, well, the reason we ask is because, like, we we want to try to do our best to promote in any way. Anybody that comes on our show, books, recipes, outfits, shows, 
champagne. Oh, okay. Anything you okay. get, we try to. We want to promote it. We want. We want everybody to know what's going on. You know, as long as it's legal. That's right. I like that. Well, I mean, a lot of stuff that wasn't legal for us is legal now. <laughs> You know, we might we might get some dispensaries on here. We can talk about it now, you know. <laughs> My man, I like that. And, and what's what I'm doing Airbnb right now is legal where they are. So. Yes. Well, what I'm doing right now, I, I'm taking Gerald Brown, my first tenor, and I gave him a song just to see he would do with it, and he did great. So I'm working okay. on trying to put put that on the street. I, w- I want to do a different sound for the Blue Notes besides the Teddy Pendergrass. Right, 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 right. right. And he's got a first tenor that's interesting. I've heard a lot of people sing, but he, he sings. And um, the song's perfect for him. So give me, a, give me a couple of months, and I'll send you a copy. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna be bothering you, man. We're gonna be bothering you, waiting, <laughs> man. You know, like that. Like I say, our yeah. our our whole objective with inside the music is to and, get and the I, story. I, yeah. You know, that's great. That's allow great. cats to resurface. If, if you know, if some of us old cats got some new material. We we try to get it out on the show. Make sure the the videos are shown. You know, we want to like I say, books, outfits, recipes. You know, dispensaries. <laughs> hey, and you know what? You got my music. I'm down. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. That's a great concept, my brother. Hey. I like that. You that know, really, uh, you touched my heart with that one. Because a lot of folks that do what you do, they, they get selfish. They don't want to help nobody, but they want to give all the press. Well, man, you know, it's like... What we're doing right now is 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 like we're giving ourselves an opportunity to have a voice again. You know, that's great. Uh, yeah. a, a yeah. lot of us have done things yourself and individuals that we have on the show have done things that have actually created and set the the the, the, the format for what's happening today. You know, right. Um, right. But right. nobody's talking to him anymore. You know, that's like grandma. Yeah. You know, grandma yeah. sitting on the porch. Ain't nobody talking to grandma. Grandma used to be hot and rolling. You know, all you gotta <laughs> do right. is ask and find out what's happening. You know, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. And I appreciate that. That's that's the greatest thing that's happening now. And besides what you do, a lot of folks of our color are doing the same thing. Yeah, and we have you, to. Yes, yes, yes. You know, because there's there's, there's two stories. There's history (laughs) Mm -hmm. and the story. Right. You know, so we try to tell the story, not his story. Right. You know. Right. Because you know what? It's some new stories. Yeah. Yeah. and And there's some untold stories. See, that's the exactly thing. Right. Yeah. You know, most yeah. of us, we go through our journey, and people who see us go through our journey, they only see what's happening on the outside. They only see if the press is involved. They only see what the press shows them. You know, right. there's a lot of individuals that you and I both know that have been in the industry 40, 50 years and have been incredible the whole period, the whole period of time that they've been doing what they're doing, and nobody's really ever heard of them. And and you know that that's 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 exactly true and there's a lot of people in this business that really are talented but they're practical and they give you great advice and even though they're not considered to be superstars in my eyes a lot of them are you know they, they they've gone through different phases of the show business and always wind up on top but on the top means their peers appreciate what they've done. I appreciate what Teddy did. I appreciate what Harold did. Because if it wasn't for Harold, I wouldn't be in this talking to you. You know what I mean? And Miss Melvin, 80 some years old now, still calls. We talk about where I'm going to go, what we want to do. And, you know, I've been blessed. I got 
great teachers. Yeah, well, that's the reason you're doing what you're doing now. Because, you know, that's the, the, the name of the game is like, we're supposed to pass the torch. We're supposed to pass the knowledge down, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I got this guy sitting next to me. He's my next. <laughs> Break the whip out, man. Get the whip out. Get the whip out. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I, I don't have to whip him. He's good at it. <laughs> okay, okay. Get the whip out. Get the whip out. Get the whip out. That's right. He's a dedicated brother, you know. Yeah. And, and and that's what I like. It's like Harold said, I like you because you always want to know. And that's right. Oh, and he wants to know. How yeah. does it go? How can I stay there for 20, 30 years? See, it, that that makes it so much easier when somebody asking you, how does this go, instead of you have to oh, tell no. them. Yeah. You have to tell them what to do every step of the way. Yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. When you tell me, how does it go, I'm going to give you what, I, what it's supposed to be. And dedicated to doing it right. And that's what it's all about. So, Tony. Guys, yes, sir. Check this out. If there was... One, one blue note song that you want to play. <laughs> one, Not, we, we ain't going into the album. One, because I'm gonna send TC to go find it. What what, what you want to play for the people? What which one would be the best if I played it? Which one you want to play? This is this is Tony's choice. If 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 I had my brothers, I'd play Sharon Page and me and her. Hope that we can be together. So. TC, hook it up, baby boy. Ladies and gentlemen, this song that you are about to hear actually requires little to no introduction. It is a classic, a worldwide classic. So please stay tuned for Tony Brooks featuring the incomparable Sharon Page and Get Together Soon right here on MoveMradio.com Inside the Music. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Sharon Page. about who you Ladies and gentlemen, we back. I mean, like that's the 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 blue notes. Harold Melvin and the blue notes. Boy, there's some secrets and stories that go along with that story. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, hey, Tony. Yes, sir. Were you around when Teddy made the scene, or before, or after, or what? Um. This. Uh, let me give you a picture. This is how. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come <laughs> on. Okay. Yeah. Harold had. Sharon knows the opening act. I came on after Sharon with a group called The Wonders Four. And then he had Teddy point, he brought Teddy up front. But they go off again. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we back. I mean, like, that's the the the, the blue notes. Harold Melvin and the blue notes. Boy, there's some secrets and stories that go along with that story. Yeah, um, yeah. So, hey, Tony. Yes, sir. Were you around when Teddy made the scene or before or after or what? 
Um, this let me give you a picture. This is hey, Stone. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Earl had Sharon that was the opening act. I came on after Sharon with a group called the Wonders Four. And then he had Teddy point, he brought Teddy up front. But they go off again. Oh, yeah, that's them now. We still here? Oh, yeah, y'all, yeah. Yeah, we still so, here, we still here. Okay, we had, and he had the, the Blue Note review. <laughs> and he would come out with Pendergrass singing. He got Teddy off the drums. He had John Brody was a singer. He, he, he didn't want to do it anymore, so he put Teddy up front. And that's the show that we, we walked through. We did, the, my, my group did on and on. I got a song in my heart. We're just doing cover stuff from Gladys Knight because we had a girl singing Lee Patsy Webb. She's great from DC singing. And we, we traveled with her. He took us across the country. And when we watched him do Soul Train in California, we, it just blew our mind. We got to be in show business. We got to be in show business. And we came back and um, we started working with Harold. We started traveling with him. And then, uh, you know, I, I, um, my wife passed away, so I had to raise some kids. So I dropped out. Okay. And I had two kids to raise. And I guess I was blessed because I was able to come back. Yeah. After they were grown. And they're still around. My kids, I, I love them. But they're, they're in their 30s, so you know I'm old. <laughs> so... I came back. So you waited a minute up. before you got started, though, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Harold had 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 got Neil and uh, Miss Melvin called me up and asked me would I come in and and fill his shoes. And I said, fill his shoes. She said, I need you. And I went back and I became a blue note. And, and that um, was what year? Oh my God! The year Harold passed away. Okay. He, he he was I, I I can't remember the exact day, but I was in a room with her when he, he they brought him home from the hospital and you know. Anyway, um Yeah. Yeah. I was on my way home and she told me he passed. So she Pick said well, legacy, you gotta be strong to fill certain shoes, man, you know? Tell everybody, me about it. Everybody can't wear everybody's shoes. <laughs> Tell me about it. And his was a size thirty. <laughs> So um, when I got back, you know, the, the brothers that were there, the White Johnson from D.C. and uh, Jerry, you know, and, and Rufus Storm was singing then. And um, they just, you know, we, we, we got it together. They, they said, come on in, let's go to work. And we went to work. We went to work and it turned out to be really special. But the White passed away. He had the. Uh, he had a diabetic problem and uh, he died at, at dialysis. Yeah. So um, you know, it was it was things happening while we were transitioning. And um we finally wound up with Donnell, Gillespie, myself. Uh Jerry went on his own and started did something. He was doing the he had gone into the Muslim religion. So he wasn't singing it anymore with us. So uh he was with um Barakar. Uh -huh. And they, they did. In fact, he spoke at the Million Man March. Okay. And um, yes. And then uh, I had um, Dwayne Johnson, myself. Yeah, we went out with um, with um, Donnell and uh, made a new name for ourselves. Sharon was on the show. I did her duet, her and the, her and Harold and stuff. Hope that we we did that for years. Hope oh, that we. Yeah. Yeah, that was that hell of a song. Yes, but now with the transition and everybody trying to get a piece of the action, which is fine, but let the best man win. I just forgot it that way. <laughs> That's where I come from. So I, you know, I got my act. You know, Donna's got an act, and they're, they're working, and that's fine. But it's enough. It's enough to spread. Okay. Yeah, just don't do the like, same town the same night. Right. But you just yeah. got to take take care of yourself and make it work. And uh, that's where I'm at. 
That's so, Don, at. you got any more questions for Mr. T? Yes, sir. I always have questions for Mr. T. But being that Mr. T says he's coming back and bring <laughs> us some new music. Yeah. Uh, here's a question for Mr. T. Is this cover music or is this new music you guys are writing and putting together? Brand new music. Totally different field than the old blue note. Real new music. So this will be new music, but with the old style. The Compositions would have will have substance. They will have great instrumentation, and they will have great vocal. Can't be great good music without great new vocals. Well, you can always have a project yep. that takes that takes you in another direction, and instead of keeping the old style. You say to yourself, this is a new sound. Let's explore the new sound. Uh, so yeah. But we'll see what the public likes. But we're going in another direction vocally. The Teddy sound, that was great. But we got a new sound. Yeah, you're not, gonna, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna recreate that sound. That's that's no, 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 no. no. And you should I don't try to. It. Right, you should try to. Right, right. We're taking it to another level of Harold Mel. In another direction. Because you that music is timeless. Right. Question. The character? Yes, Question. yes, sir. So, yes, sir. <laughs> do we still have the Philly sound? Were you going with some of them new boys? Because you got some new young boys over there out of Philly that's tearing up, man. Well, I'm, I've got a, a first tenant in, in my group, a um, special guy. And he's got that kind of voice. No, I'm and, talking um, about as far as the, the instrumentation, the, the music. August, orchestration also. It'll be different. Totally different. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm looking August, forward to that. Yeah, orchestration is going to be totally different. But what happens is it, it'll it cover the new feel for a sound in America. Right, right. And that's where I'm at. America needs a new sound. We need to have a new sound with some old school addicts. Yeah. Because they always work. But the delivery's got to be different. The delivery's got to be different. We've got to have some really good voices now. And we have to tell real stories. Again. Uh, uh, hey, man, you you reading my lips. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again, that's right. Again, yeah, yeah. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So that's just observation. I'm not, you know, I ain't, I ain't projecting I'll have a song out next week, next year. But that's exactly where we're going. And when it comes out, you two brothers will be the first ones to know. Man, we've been looking for it, man, but uh, I'm going to be tacky. I might try to get your number. I might try to submit something, man. You know. And don't feel don't feel bad. You just said it. I'll take it. Tell, tell, your, man, tell your man to tell your man hiding behind your chair and watch out for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, we, I'm always looking for that, but that's exactly what's happening. A brand new sound, from brand new notes. Yeah, <coughs> and that's that's where I'm at, and I'm loving it. But um, it's go, it's gonna take a minute. You know, we got we got some studio things to do. We got to get everybody together, but it's gonna be nice. But in the meantime, I want to put them to work. Okay, and that's where we are right now. Well, before we get out of here, man. Uh... Unless unless somebody hired from child support or something, say their names again, man. <laughs> that's, 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 uh, I can give you all four of them. 
Okay, give me the nickname. Give me the, <laughs> give, give me the street name. Leave that government name out of it. <laughs> oh, I don't want nobody to get in trouble. <laughs> give me the, give me the street name. Boo Boo and Shagga Shag. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I got Boo with me. <laughs> All right. Now it's um, Teddy Maduro, um, Gerald Brown, um, DJ Fresh. <laughs> I won't give you his name. Boo boo, boo boo, boo boo. <laughs> DJ Fresh singing, singing lead, and he does it well. Does it well. First name Steve, I can give you that. <laughs> okay, Day Day. We'll just leave it at Day Day. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And, 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 and last but not least, their grandfather, Tony Brooks. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. But uh, harmonically, I'm into that. So lead wise, I, we, you know, we'll pick and choose who's going to do what song. And they do it well. They do it well. They do it well. Right, thanks well, for having me. Man, thanks for being here, man. Well, thank you. Thank Don. Don, the one who know who to call, man. I'm just a cat to sit on the other side of the couch. <laughs> I like your concept. <laughs> we we got to do this again. One thing, I'm going to step in on you. We out in California? No, we in Vegas, man. We out here in Vegas. Vegas. I'm yeah, gonna step man. On you. I'm gonna step we out here with everything you. legal. That's right. I love that place. Get you in trouble. <laughs> hey, man. Well, 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 then again, you know, at at the pace that I run right now, I don't get in too much trouble. Oh, okay. I chase a lot of trouble. I don't get in too much, though. I can't catch oh, yeah. it no more. <laughs> yeah, my wife, my wife keeps me straight. <laughs> That's how that is. But, gentlemen, man. it's been a pleasure. I know y'all gonna yeah, yeah, it's my time up. They're telling me it's time for me to get off of this. Is, is it up? Yeah, they waving us out, man. We got the yeah. people upstairs and downstairs saying it's time for us to go home. But uh hey. Mr. Brooks, I really appreciate your time, man. And um hey, man. thanks like for having was me. saying, as soon as you guys get some material, man, uh let us know. I sure will. You, like I said, you two brothers will be the first ones to know. Appreciate you, you man. Tell Much homeboy love, behind, Tell homeboy behind yeah. the chair, keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it covered. <laughs> tell, him, tell him, keep it real. As long as he hanging with you, he with good people. He's a good man. <laughs> he appreciate it. It's really, really good guy. Thank you. You guys All are righty, perfect. Man. Stay in touch, man. Yes, sir. Bless you. It's been All a right. pleasure. You guys take care. You too. AC, take us home, baby boy. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. And what can I say? Once again, I am I'm put in a place of humility of of hearing what just went on, man. Um, one, King Tony, listen, thank you. Thank you for being part of a of a group. Um that I grew up on actually. And my father is familiar with the original members and Mr. Harold Melvin and Mrs. Melvin. And, you know, being raised around these people growing up, uh, my brother, my older brothers and sisters had more of the experience because I was much younger, but learning and knowing who these people are, even learning that my father um, was who he was in this business and in the Philadelphia music scene, you know, it, it's humbling. So to, to see you become a part of someone that I actually grew up watching and listening to and uh, just watching all the things that you've done, it's just, just spectacular. And to have this opportunity to have you on Inside the Music, to have you here with us at MovingRadio.com is just, you know, a phenomenal, phenomenal honor. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for what you continue to do and what you continue to push forth, you know, and it's just you know, what is that, what is that feeling? You know, I want to be able to have a feeling of knowing that you are a part of something that is historic and will forever be memorialized every time that you open your mouth, you, you sing a note, you drop a chorus, man, just knowing that you, you bring something that in this city, in our city is phenomenal, phenomenally historic. So, you know, I just want to say thank you. Um, 
you know, being a hip hop head, you know, we had a lot of, a lot of hip hoppers, you know, some of my cohorts and some of my, some of my, uh, uh, my heroes in the, in the hip hop game that, that, uh, sampled and referenced, uh, Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes and, you know, especially Snoop Dogg or one of his, you know, one of his inner cuts on the album. He said, man, you without me, like Harold Melvin without the Blue Notes, you have to go platinum. But it's crazy that it wasn't a shot at, Harold Melvin, it was just the understanding of how that group dynamic, how you needed each other, you came together and how you come together and that success is bred from that that unity. So for anybody that believes that uh, Harold Melvin or the Blue Notes were not successful without each other, man, they couldn't have told a bigger lie, you know, and those out here on this coast know it, especially those that are entrenched in the business know it especially so again i just wanted to say thank you man thank you for taking that torch and and carrying it on and and even watching that video with you and miss sharon man it's wonderful it's wonderful you know rest in heaven to uh, miss sharon page and prayers to her family because you know we lost her recently within the last year and some change and the fact that she was so instrumental in the blue notes after uh king teddy's departure from the group but, you know, just know how how instrumental and how beautiful this woman was, man. She was a queen. She was she was just beautiful. So to know that we lost another member of the Blue Notes, she's going on to that, to the Blue Notes in heaven, you know, that she's looking down and watching what you're doing and seeing that video of you guys performing together and um, what you're doing with the Blue Notes, man. I just want to say thank you and please keep, keep up everything that you're doing and, and continued success. And as always in closing, I just want to say, you know, we here at Inside the Music, we, we appreciate the, the, the transparency and the honesty. We appreciate the good stories. We appreciate the bad stories. We appreciate the stuff that made you, you in this business, that made you part of the game and part of the business to make this thing be what it is and continue to inspire the next generation of Blue Notes or whomever those singers might be or rappers and whoever those rappers might be, or musicians or songwriters or publishers because of how the business has changed and ownership has become a priority. So you took ownership of making sure you carrying this legacy on and y'all are doing a wonderful job. And again, you know, just thank you so much. So again, from us here at Inside the Music, we wanna say thank you. And as always, the sponsors for this show are Three Pharaohs Productions, MoveEmRadioStudios.com, or excuse me, MoveEmRadio.com, uh, Studio 17.6, uh, uh, 204, uh, Stormy Weathers Entertainment, Source 3 Entertainment, and each and every individual that continues to push us and support us in what we do with what we do and how we do it, keeping God first. Oh yeah, and don't let me forget, To all those that took the call and took the oath and took the charge, I salute you. Happy Veterans Day to all of those that took the oath and made that sacrifice for this country despite your feelings. Many are chosen, few are called, but you take that oath by choice and we hold it serious. Peace, stay love, God is real. I'll let you big homie, he always around, peace.